Hello? I have been calling this a card game when it is in fact far from it. This is my countless, I cannot count how many tries this has taken, but this is a video on how to play the board game Muto Rear. Muto Rear is a board game, right? Let us establish that so I do not make that mistake. Uh, played by the Maori people in New Zealand, right? So it's not really played by too many people. It's quite rare, uh, but nevertheless, it's fun. And so let us talk about it. What you'll need is an eight pointed star and nobody really has an eight pointed star laying around. So I highly suggest Grabbing a pencil, a marker, anything of the sort, creating an eight pointed star. So, right, like so one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not really point, I guess, eight pieces, right? So, you're going to create eight pieces in a triangle configuration, like so, all connected to a circle in the middle, right? So, you have one point in the center, eight slices around it. You'll also need four pieces, right? So just uh, what I'd suggest is grabbing four checkers. You could even use four cards if you want, right? Anything to signify a piece for each player. In this case, we're using black and white pieces. You could easily color a couple of circles on a piece of paper, cut them out, use them. That would totally work, right? Each player starts with four pieces on four adjacent points at the corner points of the star with the center point being empty like so right this is strictly a two player game um, and so one two three four one two three four on the outer edges of the star players alternate turns to move one piece to either the center point or from one corner point to another corner point a piece can only be moved to the center point if one or both adjacent points are occupied by an opponent's piece okay so the objective is to get as many pieces as you can to the center point, right? Um, and so you might just be like, okay, why don't we just take this and and do that, right? And so that's true. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to essentially block your opponent's pieces so they cannot move further, right? And so you might be saying, okay, well, what's the strategy here? What should we do? Okay. Um, so what we basically have to do here is try to think, I guess, ahead. Okay. Um, expert uh, Mori players are able to see up to 40 moves ahead. Okay. And so essentially what you want to do is block all your opponent's pieces from moving okay once your opponent's pieces are all stuck and your opponent can make no valid moves you have won the game of move to rear so that is what we will try to do here so a piece can only be moved to the center um only when the moved counter is beside an opponent's counter okay and so you can move to uh, the corner pieces no matter what, right? If it's open, you can move to it. You can only move to the center if there is a piece of the opposite color beside you. So we can go ahead and do that, right? So we do have to make a move, right? You cannot skip your turn, but essentially you want to block, um, I guess, your opponent from being able to move, right? They can move freely amongst these, but you can only move to the center if you have, um, first of all, if this, so you can only move to uh, the center if it's a one free, and two, if you have a piece of the opposite color that is adjacent to you, right? So connected on the point right next to you. You can move to these outer edges no matter what, as long as it is open. So what can we do to block our opponent here? What we'll do is um, we'll move this there, okay? Move that there. Move that there. Okay. 
what we're going to try to do here, right? We want to try to. It's quite hard to trap your opponent, right? This game can go on for very long. Let us sum up how to play move to a rear. Four pieces on these four outer edges, right? You can only move to the center if there is a piece of the opposite color beside you and the center is free. You can move to the, any of these outer edges provided that they are free. There is no restriction on who is beside you. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Those two rules, and that is literally it. You want to try to trap your opponent. If the, Once your opponent has no legal moves, um, they have lost the game. And so let us talk about a bit of a fun fact here because I am a bit of a fun fact type of guy. Um, and I do say some obscure facts. And so let us state another one. Um, the chief of the Maori people uh, from New Zealand's North Island offered a game um, to the um, governor and the entire island would go to um, the person who won the game. Okay, um, the governor declined because Maori players have been known to win a lot, especially against visitors who are new to the game, right? So, um, even though the governor had nothing to lose, right? It's not like the governor was going to lose their island. Um, but, um, even then, they, cho they chose uh, not to play. So... Let us continue playing here. Remember, both the player once a player has no legal moves left, you have won the game. So we're going to keep playing here. So I I can move my piece to the middle. Why? Because I have adjacent pieces touching me here. All my pieces here have adjacent pieces. So let us think about which one we want to move, okay? If I move this one, this corner is going to be open. So I have to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this this one right here. And so, so what happened there? I lost the game. Why is that? I have no moves left because there there were no open places where I could move to, right? No free spots. And so I lost. Um, what we'll do is we'll play again here. Just to sort, short of, sort of uh, show you how to play. Right? Might as well. Let's go. Right, so it keeps going back and forth like this. Um, we want to try to trap our opponent here. How can we do that? Um, if I go like so, my opponent must move there. All that moves is there. My opponent is forced to move there. As you can see, this can go on for hours.
uh, if you're playing between two experienced players, right? But the general gist of the game is simple. You just want to make sure your opponent has no valid moves. You can move to the corner pieces provided they are open. To the center star, or sorry, to the center dot, uh, you can only move provided that there is um, um, a token of the opposite color touching or adjacent. Okay, so that essentially wraps up how to play. It's quite a simple game, right? I hope you enjoyed, and next time you are looking for a fun, exciting new game, try out Moo Thank you for watching.